Hello, MA. We are back. Finally, after several weeks of minimal days with SSNR, we are here. This is MA Today for Monday, October 19th. I'm Sophia. And I'm Trevor. You may be thinking to yourself, don't we usually have MA Today on Tuesday? You're right. Why aren't we going tomorrow? Because tomorrow's Harper's birthday. And we have an earthquake and lockdown drill. Oh my god! Oh no, an earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So tomorrow, get ready during SSR to practice your duck and cover and what to do in case of an intruder. Uh, well, we are having, well, we've had an exciting couple of weeks with uh, Feel Good Friday, Spirit Week, and Homecoming. But now it's time to buckle down again. Uh, so to all those seniors applying to a CSU, this Thursday morning is our first CSU application workshop. Guidance counselors will be available in the guidance conference room from 8 to 9 a.m. every Thursday from October 22nd to November 19th. We will also be available from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Wednesday, November 4th. Bring, bring your questions and your transcripts. We want your blood. <laughs> the annual Menlo Atherton blood drive is approaching again. The event is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Friday, October 30th in the new gym. All parents, students, and teachers are welcome to attend. Sprinkles, cupcakes, and free t-shirts will be provided for all who donate. Sign-ups will also be available on the green at lunch. Students must be 17 or older to donate with a parent's permission. See you there. Do you want to play sports this winter? If you plan on trying out for soccer, basketball, or the wrestling teams, this winter you need to get cleared. Monday, October 26th is the deadline for turning in your athletic clearance form and doctor's approval. Turning in this paper paperwork late could hinder your chances of trying out. No clearance, no practice. And now, here's Julia from our MA Seeds Club to chat about our composting. Hello MA, I'm here today to give you a friendly reminder about composting on our campus. MA's Environmental Club, Seeds, has a, established a composting program and you may have noticed the bins located at key spots around campus. Every bit of unnecessary waste that we can eliminate is important, so please compost food scraps into the painted compost bins on campus. No trash or recyclables, please. This composting program is the first of its kind in Sequoia Union High School District history, so let's make it count. Let's make MA green. Thanks, Seeds. Composting is good for the world, therefore it is good for us. This, this Tuesday at lunch is our next math contest. The winner of our first math contest was Jerry Lau with a perfect score. Perhaps you can be the winner of tomorrow's math contest at lunch in the D-Wing. Don't miss this opportunity to begin the second quarter with some of that sweet extra credit. Calling all composers, filmmakers, writers, artists, dancers, and photographers. This time, it's time to let your imagination fly to create for this year's Reflection Arts competition. The competition covers six art disciplines, photography, visual arts, music composition, film production, dance, choreography, and literature. All entrants must create a work of art based on the theme, Let Your Imagination Fly. All entry forms and rules are available on the MAPTA's website or from any of the arts department faculty. Due dates for the entries is November 4th. Hey, everyone, come and donate any new or gently used costumes to MA's Halloween Costume Drive. All the costumes donated will go to children who don't have or can't afford costumes. Costumes should be children's sizes ranging from small to large and can be donated to a bin in B21. All donations are for MA's annual Trick or Treat Street. And now we have a powerful video. Nona Ebrara and Caitlin Roberts, our MA dance cheer coaches, produced and choreographed this amazingly powerful video as our MA varsity dance team breaches the subject of gun violence on campuses across America. We grew up like this. Aurora. Oak Creek. Columbine. Charleston. Virginia Tech. Fort Hood. Newtown. Tucson. Roseburg. Enough. 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 Please do something. Please do something. We deserve to be safe. We deserve to be safe. I deserve to be safe. I deserve to be safe at school. I deserve to be safe at home. Please do something. Please do something. Not one more. Not one more. Not one more. Not one Not one more. Not one more. Not one more. And I'll rise up.
that we have each other and for that we have each other Thank you, MA Dance Team. If you'd like to do something, one way is to meet with our MA Anti-Bullying Club this Tuesday and help make it better here at MA. Yearbooks are on sale for $75. Buy one before prices go up at tinyurl.com slash MA Yearbook or come to I2. Seniors, don't forget to take your senior portraits. To sign up, go to tinyurl slash MA Yearbook or come to I2. That's tinyurl.com slash MA Yearbook. Clubs, sports, clubs, sports, clubs, sports. <laughs> Here are Jordan and Cameron with news from clubs and sports. What's up, MA? I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron with your club news. The BSU is performing a new step team and is looking for anyone who is interested in learning the history and tradition of stepping, performing powerful routines. Is that you? Come step up your game and join us on Wednesday after school in room F19 for a brief informational meeting. If it's Monday, then it's Donut Club. The Donut Club has finally achieved its great its goal of winning as many Tour de France titles as Lance Armstrong. Come celebrate with this great achievement with us today in lunch at in C4. There have been a lot of interest in 12-day student trip to Ecuador and Guatemala and the Guapalos Islands on June 15th to June 27th. We will be hosting an informational meeting for parents and students at 6 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, October 21, in room I-5. There is limited space for the trip. Please RSVP to Mr. Stewart at astewart at seq.org. Calling all boys volleyball players. Anyone interested in playing boys volleyball this spring must attend an informational meeting this Wednesday, October 21st, during lunch in D14. All information about the season will be discussed, including gym, gym, open gyms and tryouts. The boys varsity water polo easily notched another league win against Half Moon Bay by a score of 17 to 2. The Bears have a busy week ahead. On Monday, the team will scrimmage St. Paul's School, London, on Wednesday. The team travels to undefeated Woodside for a league match, and then on Friday and Saturday, MA co-hosts the prestigious North-South Tournament with Sacred Heart and will face top-ranked Harvard Westlake Los Angeles in their first game on Friday at 2.10 p.m. The MA girls varsity tennis team is undefeated in league play, 11-0. They beat Half Moon Bay 6-1 on Tuesday, and on Thursday, MA also won 6-1 against Burlingame. In cross country, the Bears continued to dominate their 16 PAL rivals in the second league cross country race of the season on Tuesday, October 13th at the 2.33 mile course at Half Moon Bay High School. The Bears team placed first in three events and placed second in two events. The team's next competition, the third and final PAL regular season race, will take place on the hilly 2.95 mile Crystal Springs course in Belmont, followed, by, followed in November by PAL finals and CCS at the same location. Our girls golf team had a great week. On Monday, October 12th, the Bears played against Burlingame and won just by two strokes with a total of, with the lowest five combined score of 223 to Burlingame's 225. Our team is now tied with Aragon at the top and the tiebreaker will be determined at the PAL Championship Tournament on October 27th. 
After the first round of PAL play, our girls volleyball team remains undefeated in the league, 8-0. to zero. This week, every player was on the court for three set sweeps, Half Moon Bay and Mills. Come out to cheer this Thursday, 10-22, when the Bears host PAL rivals Aragon and Ayers Gym. And if you can't make it to the game, we'll be streaming it live right here on thecube.com. And our football homecoming match against the Dons was a glorious victory, as the Bears kept things close for the first three quarters and blew away the Dons for the final score of 31-10. to Shout out to Jordan Mims, who ran over 400 yards and scored four touchdowns, breaking a school record. For those that tuned in on our stream, we apologize as we had some internet issues that should be cleared up to this stream for the big game against Sacred Heart Prep this Friday at 7 p.m. Come cheer on the Bears for another exciting Friday Night Lights. Back to you, Trevor and Sophia. Thanks, Jordan and Cameron. That's all we got. We'll be back here to a more regular schedule for Friday, October 23rd. Have a good week, and remember, duck, duck and cover bears. I'm Trevor. And I'm Sophia. Shout out to my dog, Echo. She's 10 today. Where are iPads at?